Hi there, everyone. So it's been a while, and I'm sorry, but I'm here to do an update for Accutane. I don't even know what week I'm on, but I'm actually uh, starting the fourth month, so I guess that means I'm about week 13 now, and everything has been going really, really well. A lot has been going on in my personal life since the last video, which is why I haven't really been updating, it's just not really high on my priority list, but I feel that it's still good to try and keep people informed for those of you who are keeping up to date with this, so thank you uh, for watching, and I will try to do my best to tell everyone what has been going on, but truthfully it's been very little. Uh, since the last time I recorded, I went on vacation to uh, the east coast of the United States, so it was still uh, pretty cold, there was lots of snow, and my skin really suffered uh, when I was there. I live in an area, uh, we rarely get any snow, it rarely ever gets below freezing or even at freezing, and we get a lot of rain, so uh, the air is not dry and it's not cold, and so my skin really didn't like it when I was out uh, in the weather that I'm really not used to. So I had insanely chapped lips, I felt really, really dehydrated, and I actually had to go and find lotion uh, because I actually had big dry patches of skin everywhere uh, on my shoulder, on my chest, and on my stomach. And they almost looked like eczema. Uh, so I was getting kind of worried at that point. I was trying to drink a lot of water and keep hydrated, uh, but I think a lot of that also had to do just with getting uh, further into the treatment because now I'm finding that I feel that way all the time. I didn't used to feel thirsty. I knew I was dehydrated. Uh, my skin was telling me I was dehydrated with my lips peeling and my skin peeling and whatnot, uh, but I wake up in the morning and I just feel thirsty, like I have to drink something. And so that's been a really good way for me to drink a lot of water. Uh, throughout the treatment, I've kind of had to force myself to drink water because it's not something that is my preferred beverage, but I really had to convince myself that I needed to drink it for this treatment. Uh, so now it's getting to the point where the Accutane is really starting to dry up everything in my body, I have a feeling. Um, so I'm having to put lotion all over my body. I mentioned, you know, a month ago that my shoulders were starting to peel a little bit, uh, my elbows, my arms a little bit, uh, but now it's my legs, it's my knees, it's my back, uh, chest, everywhere. And um, my hands are probably the worst. I work in a job where I wash my hands all day, every day, I wear rubber gloves, uh, so my hands were actually cracked to the point where they were almost bleeding uh, a little while ago, so I've had to be really, really generous uh, with hand lotion as well. And I've mentioned it a couple of times uh, before, but I don't like lotion, I don't like the way it feels, I think it's just horrible, especially when it's on your hands because it gets all gooey and you can't do anything. Uh, so I try to put lotion on after I get out of the shower uh, on my body and I try to put lotion on my hands before I go to bed uh, or if I'm just sitting around, you know, vegging on the couch or whatever. Uh, so a lot of self-discipline I'm finding with this medication. Uh, if you don't uh, drink water and use lotion or whatever it is that you want for your body to keep it moisturized, I think you'll probably be pretty miserable. And I would recommend to anybody just to really force yourself to take good care of yourself, at least while you're on the medication. And I'm finding that um, a lot of the things that I've been doing have just becoming habits that's really going to be beneficial uh, to my life because now I actually kind of enjoy having water and I like not feeling thirsty and I like feeling kind of healthy. Uh, so in a way, uh, it's actually been a really, really good uh, lifestyle change for me. 
I'm getting really frustrated with the medication at this point, though, because I'm not seeing any results, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. Again, I kind of had an intuition, and I mentioned it last time, that I just had a feeling that my skin really wasn't going to get any better. Right now, I think this is probably the best that it's going to get. I've stopped breaking out. My skin isn't oily. Uh, it's smooth. It's been smooth for months, which has been great. Uh, skin's tight. It looks good. It looks clean. Um, and so the stuff that's remaining is scarring and skin pigmentation or uh, rosacea, I guess you can call it. So I don't know if I need to continue taking this medication. I'm going to the dermatologist uh, in the beginning of May, May 6th. I'm going to see him. Um, originally when I started the medication, I was under the impression that I was only going to be taking a three-month dosage. But after my first month, when he saw me, uh, he decided that he was going to put me on six months. So I'm going to go and I'm going to speak to him and I'm going to see whether or not it's beneficial to keep taking it. There might be a reason why uh, the medication might work on a six month cycle better. Uh, the benefits might be better long term. I don't really know. I wasn't quite informed uh, to those specifics, but it's definitely something that I'm going to ask about. Because at this point, living with the side effects um, is really not worth the amount or the lack of uh, effects that I'm getting, positive effects, from how the medication is actually supposed to work. Good news is that I haven't gotten any more eye infections, which is great. My eye hasn't swollen up at all, which is great because it was insanely uncomfortable. Uh, but again, like I said, skin is still very dry. I'm getting the whole body is completely dried. My head is still dry. My eyes are still dry. My lips are probably uh, the worst that they've been since the start of treatment, I would say. And now it's being paired with actually feeling like I'm dehydrated and feeling very thirsty, which isn't a bad side effect. It just really makes you realize how much this is really affecting your body and affecting your everyday life. But i that's all I really have to say. Uh, not a whole lot uh, has been going on other than that, which is another reason I haven't been updating, is just because there's not a lot to say, although I did manage to ramble on for uh, eight minutes. So if I missed anything in this update that I can think of, or if anything new comes up, I'll be sure to let everybody know. Of course, I'll keep everybody updated on how my blood work goes, since I have to get that done soon, and uh, also how the dermatology appointment goes coming up soon. And uh, I may be continuing on with treatment, or I may be stopping soon. Who knows? Uh, either way, this medication has absolutely changed my life in the few short months that I've been taking it. I feel so much better about myself now, um, and I just never thought that my skin would, would look this way. So I've been enjoying this clear, fresh face for the last month, and hopefully it's something that I will be able to enjoy for many, many years to come. So uh, feel free to leave a comment or a question or anything in the comment section. And I will see everybody hopefully soon.